Mitsubishi's getting a new flagship, Willie Nelson's tour bus is up for auction, and Elio tells us what he really thinks. This and much more are coming at you here on Thursday, the last full day of summer. This is Auto Week TV. I'm Julie. I'll be your host for today. We've got all that, plus the latest on the Ford Evos. Mitsubishi has just inked a deal with Nissan, securing the rights to rebadge and sell the Fuga in Japan. This gives Mitsubishi the large and luxurious sedan it has lacked since the Diamante was killed in 2004. Automotive News reports there are no plans to bring this to the United States. The Fuga is sold here as Infiniti's M. Now here's a smoking deal. One of country music singer Willie Nelson's tour buses is headed for the auction block next month. The 1986 Eagle Model 10 Motor Coach includes beds for six people, two lounge areas, and hand-painted murals by the artist Rainmaker. So, head to the Classic Car Auction of Toronto on October 22nd if you think you can sniff out a good deal. And IndyCar star Elio Castroneve sounded off again in the aftermath of a penalty given at the end of Sunday's race on the Twin Ring Motegi Road Course in Japan. Race Control dropped Castroneves from 7th place at the finish to 22nd, the last car on the lead lap, for passing rookie J.R. Hildebrand under a local yellow in Turn 3. Castroneves afterwards said, Race Director Brian Barnard has lost it and is a detriment to the sport. Okay, now it's time for a closer look at the Ford Evos concept. Greg Migliori explains what this car means to the Blue Oval. The Ford Evos concept is a landmark vehicle for the brand. Now I saw it up close in Frankfurt and I talked to plenty of Ford executives, including Jay Mays, who's their top designer and creative guy. Here's what you need to know. This will show up in four months at the Detroit Auto Show. And this is not some pie in the sky prototype that will never see the light of day. Make no mistake, something like this will arrive in production soon. Reading between the lines, this is indeed the next Ford Fusion. This means Ford will finally have a sedan that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Hyundai Sonata in terms of style and perhaps the new Chevy Malibu in terms of sales. Note that grille and those slit headlights. Those are going to make it into production. It's going to be impressive. Do you want to know more? Check out the September 19th issue of Auto Week magazine. It's on the cover. Thanks, Greg. I never thought I'd say this, but I want a new Fusion. That's it for Auto Week TV. I'm Julie. Enjoy the drive. Thanks for watching today's edition of Auto Week TV. Be sure to catch all the latest car enthusiast news on AutoWeek.com, in Auto Week magazine, and in Auto Week's iPad edition.